What's going on, combat sports fans? We have the first ever Ezekiel choke in UFC history by the bow constructor Alexi Olink at UFC Phoenix, UFC Fight Night 103 versus Victor Pesta. And it was awesome. It happened in the first round in under three minutes, I believe it was. Um, and it was crazy because uh, Olinky pushed up Pesta. He ended up getting Pesta up against the cage. Looked like he was going to take him down, but he didn't. Pesta switched, uh, did a reversal and got Olinky up against the cage. He took him down. He was on top of him. Olinky was trying to go for that choke, and then, but then, uh, thing they moved around, scrambled some, and then Pesta ended up in full mount on top of the bowl constrictor Olinky, and then Olinky got his arm around the back of the neck of of uh, Pesta and then he ended up putting his arm underneath his neck and squeezing and choking him out with the Ezekiel choke that was awesome if I ever fight that's something I know I'd be going for is the head behind the arm behind the head uh, my arm behind the neck and the arm in front of the neck and squeeze and make him tap out or they're gonna pass out uh, that was a beautiful thing by the boa constrictor he's in my opinion a living legend the guy has got 51 victories 10 losses and one draw 51 fights one as a pro 63 uh 62 fights in total if he's won 51 that's insane and he beat crow cop recently uh in the last several years within the last several years he's on a win streak right now this dude should definitely be in the top 15 easily and i'd like to see him take on uh, you know, somebody up in the top 15 in his next fight. Uh, you know, this guy, if he's not in between 15 and 10 come uh, Monday or Tuesday when the rankings get put up there, it'll be a goddamn shame in my opinion. This guy is awesome. He's a beast as a heavyweight. The dude is something to be a force to be reckoned with. Uh, it's definitely awesome. I mean, he could take on one of the guys who won earlier in the night, but I definitely uh, want to see him take on somebody that's ranked. Uh, you know what I mean? So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Big Dog Jimmy agrees with me that he should be ranked in the top 15, and he should get a top 15 contender in his next fight. And Creepy Zeke, uh, Creepy Zeke does not agree with me and Big Dog Jimmy. So, but hey, you know, we can't all get along and agree. But check out my prediction on this one and see, you know, I picked it 100% correct on this one. I don't recall what these two guys uh, pick, predicted on the prediction. But, uh, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think. Just thoughts and opinions down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, punch that subscribe button into submission. Peep the video up above. It looks interesting. Hit that like button and share the video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.